Hello everyone. Today's video is all about the orthographic projection of line. And here we will discuss the different situation of a line placed in first quadrant. And then we will see how the front view and top view of a line will appear on the planes. And finally, we will see how to draw them on a flat sheet of paper. Let's look at the first condition where we have a line of a length 150 mm long which is placed in the first quadrant in a space. Meaning that a line is not resting or lying on the horizontal or a vertical plane. Let's name endpoints of a line as A and B. If you look at the position of the points A and B from HP and VP, you will realize that both the points A and B are equidistant from HP and VP. Let's say point A and B are 88 mm above the HP and 128 mm in front of the VP. Now, to observe the front view, imagine that you are standing in front of a line and looking in this direction. Remember, how do we project the views on the plane? If you don't, then you should watch the video on the first angle projection method and the link is provided in the description. First watch it and then come back to this. Alright, so to draw front view, we must take the projections perpendicular to the VP from points A and B till they intersect with the VP. Here we got the front view of points A and B. Note one thing, while we name the front view of point A, we will name it as A dash. It's a small A, not a capital. And of course, with a dash. Similarly, we will name the front view of point B as B dash. And once we connect A dash and B dash, we have front view of line AB on the VP. Perfect. Now let's imagine that you are looking at the line from top in this direction. And to plot the top view of a line on HP, take the projections perpendicular to the HP from points A and B till they intersect with the HP. Here we got the top view of point A and B and we will name it as A and B. Remember the front view with the dash and top view without dash. Now connect A and B and here we have a top view of line AB on the HP. Alright, here we have both front view and top view with us but on a different planes. So let's rotate the HP in downward direction by 90 degree to get it aligned with the VP. And this is how the front view and top view are brought on a same plane like a flat sheet of paper. Now a very important thing is how to draw this on a paper. So for that first Let's put the situation of a line in a problem statement. And the problem statement is here. A line AB having a length of 150 mm is placed in the first quadrant in such a way that point A is 88 mm above HP and 128 mm in front of VP. Line is parallel to the HP and VP. Now let's solve this. First up, let's draw a horizontal reference line and name it as XY. This line is the intersection of HP and VP, means the whole space above XY will be our vertical plane and the whole space below XY will be our horizontal plane. Now. Let's plot the front view and top view of point A that is 
how much distance it's above the HP and in front of VP. So in front view, we can see how much distance above HP the point is and it's given as 88 mm. So draw a faint perpendicular line of length 88 mm that is above XY and mark the position of front view of point A as A dash. We know that top view of A will lie exactly below its front view. So let's extend this faint line in downward direction that is in the HP and point A is how much distance in front of VP that we can see in top view and it's given as 128 mm. So plot a point at 128 mm from XY and name it as A. Now it's time to locate the second end B and given data says that line is parallel to both the planes. Means point A and B are equidistant from both the planes. So just draw a horizontal faint line from A dash and A in front view and top view respectively and measure the distance of 150 mm from point A and mark the position of point B in front view and top view as B dash and B respectively. And here we have front view and top view of line AB. In the next few videos, we will be discussing the many more problems on the projection of lines. If you like this video, then give a thumbs up by hitting a like button. And for watching upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and enjoy the learning with me. See you soon.